And back again, we're going to keep going until we get past the last, the past when we, when basically the, the, uh, game, the, uh, uh, we had to start over. Basically, that's what we're going to keep going. We're going to keep doing. We're going to just do that because we are here on the planet need and ready to explore it and not have anything bad happen except for to the characters in the game. <laughs> okay, well, let's go. There was an accident. I got, no, I got, I somehow got transported from where I was to expel. And then I ran into Rena in the Sacred Forest, and it went all went all it was all, and that's how it went from there. The rest is history. Ah, mm -hmm. that's no big deal, really, is it? I mean, that's no big deal, really, is it? Really, is it? No matter where you are, you're Claude. I mean, still Claude. I think that hasn't changed at all. Mm. You're from that. You're still Claude. Yeah. Thanks. We aren't going to get anything done if we just sit around here. So let's take a look around. Wouldn't mind a nice remake of this, but I'm okay with this for now. At least a partial remake. You know. How do you think everyone in is doing? No, not too well, no doubt about that. They could have survived that collision. So does, of course. But don't worry. I'm sure they're doing fine, just fine. But they can't wait for us to get back home too. Reno. I'm sure of it. Yeah, she's right. That's why we've got to get moving and figure out what's going on around here. Right, like, right, yeah. <laughs> got the little stone hinge place. The beautiful little place there. What's that? So let's go. Looks like some kind of device. Please come inside. Come inside. Come into my filthy mind. Mm -hmm. Who are you? I mean your harm. Just go inside the transporter. Everything will be revealed to you. Who am I gonna get? We already have a mage. We have two mages. Uh, I might get uh, just I don't, I, I don't know. Well, who are you? I'm not gonna believe you without some kind of evidence. Mm. Sato is cool. I do like her a lot. You know. Noel is Noel. I don't know. I'll just see then. Let's try it. Rena. It's all right. There's something about his voice. I feel like we can trust it. Well, if Rina says so, then I suppose we can trust her. Here he goes. Yeah, you guys get over here. We'll walk in. Where, where is this? Sorry, where is this? I don't know. Wow, this place is weird. We might as well get out. Yeah, I can control him again. Let's a room. Walk over here, and we meet Marinarl. So let's see what's going on with him. Hi, Marinarl. Yeah. Good to be back again. Yes. I have been waiting for you. And he looks more serious. That's cool. That was that was your voice story for. I have been waiting for you. It was uh, yeah, it was. I am the one who brought you here. My name is Nal. Nal is better. I serve as the mayor of the in Centropolis. Centropolis. <laughs> well, might as well call it something. The central. The central. The central. Huh? That's central, huh? Yeah, we are on need, aren't we? Oh, this is need, all right. 
that Centropolis is one of Need's largest cities. Need's largest cities. So, do you people have any idea why you're here on Need right now? You know, I don't have any idea what's going on here. We were fighting these strange men on top of a tower in Illyria. The next thing you knew, we were here. You were probably teleported here with those men when they took themselves to need. Who the heck are those guys? Well, where are those guys? A group that we call the Ten Wise Men. Before I explain who they are, I must tell you of the mistakes that have haunted Need's past. Thousands of years ago, so happened. About oh, 307 billion years ago, Need was a planet. Mm. That's all right. In 18 years ago, you know, just last week, <laughs> you're the planet. Meaning what? It's a, it's a planet now, isn't it? Mm. The need of today is no planet at all. Is what we stand on today, better known as energy need. An artificial plant developed in a, developed in a high energy field. Oh, that must be why my dad called the higher what my dad called the higher energy mass. Three hundred and seven billion years ago, planet expelled did not even exist in space. At least, it wasn't really called a spell, it was one of the millions of planets just hanging out. Even at that time, the people of Need had advanced knowledge of magic science. On a level no other planet could come close to matching. Mm. It really had a name yet. <laughs> As a result, Need was able to gain control of every planet in the galaxy. Even Need didn't rule by force. But Need didn't rule by force. The records claim it was a model of economic co cooperation. Almost a living utopia. Mm. Very nice. But even in this near utopia, there live those with evil minds. Ooh. Fire news straight from Star Wars Deck is already hit. They call themselves the Ten Wise Men. I mean, this flying fire dude. Ooh. They were unfortunately in, in this thing. They wanted the entire planet under the galaxy under their iron fists. So they attacked these little people. They, uh, and they attacked these children. These ten fantastical men. Mad, mad, fantastical men. Because they caught a quest for first season control of the needs with their staggering powers. Oh. One by one, need cities fell under the sheer force of their attack. Yep. Anyone who refused loyalty to their you know, regime was ruthlessly murdered. They showed no pity to no one. Not even women and children. The Indian armed forces mustered everything they had, but they were completely routed by the overwhelming power of the wise of the wise men. Their rampage across the planet, however, did not last long. The Indian army summoned up their remaining power, and they fought back fiercely. After weeks of desperate fighting, they finally succeeded in defeating the ten wise men. That's awesome. As a punishment, they were ten wise men were exiled to eternity space, basically a phantom zone, mm -mm -mm. a prison from which there can never be an exit. The war was a complete victory for the Nidian forces. There should be a game called Nidian forces. <laughs> you need to play as an Nidian that you create every night. Nice. And in the process, the Nidians finally opened their eyes to the extent of the power they had wielded all this time. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Even if we never asked for it, we had a technological ability to rule over the entire universe. Mm. Yeah. Right at our fingertips. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. If the Ten Wise Men ever came back to haunt us, Need would be engulfed in total war yet again. Mm. Mm. Let's see here. Nobody wanted this, of course. After a lengthy conference, the world-renowned Dr. Lantis offered a solution that everyone accepted. I'm pretty sure that's not. And not everyone accepted. Enough people accepted. We opted to seal away our powers to put an end to the progress that we had achieved. Instead of becoming like a space police, which would have been a better idea. <laughs> so, Planet E was destroyed by the hands of the very Nidians who lived there, shooting our own selves in the foot. See you guys next time. Check me out on YouTube and We'll continue on with this stuff.